hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel blog series so now guys in this video we are going to see how to delete the category and while deleting the category it should delete its post okay so yes guys now let's see a demo so let me just add one post let me open a new tab here i'm going to add a post on sql part let me add just dummy content okay so let's just fill the dummy content over here save post okay so you can see one post and let me add one the post okay save post perfect so we have two posts on the category called sql okay so when i delete this what should happen it should delete this two post also okay so for that guys we are going to set the code so yep let's go to our editor and let me close all the files not required now so first step go to routes and where we have to go on this category admin slash category so this is our admin prefix and here is a category go to the category controller at delete function okay so here is the code guys this is the destroy if you click on this delete button it will call this function so at this function guys you are going to delete the category and you should delete all the post also so this post so this sql if i delete the sql category it should delete all the sql post okay so if you don't delete if you just delete the sql and if you don't delete this post then you will face an error right so for that case guys we are going to set this option yep let's get back to the code and here we are going to delete using the relationship called has many okay so we'll be using has many so guys first step like let's go to this category model so this category has many posts okay so this how our relationship works so yep guys let's create one function called public function with the posts okay function so category has many posts okay let's return dollar this has many okay function where you are going to tell it has many post class and that the key from your post so from this post model you have a category id right so this is the category id so let's copy that and call here and from this category table from this category table you are going to call its id all set yep guys and make sure if you're using has many also you'll be having your belongs to yep so now guys let's call this post in your controller here at the delete function let's call this category so on this category what i want the post function and call the delete function to delete all its related post okay so and then your category delete so both should work fine so now guys you can just change the message over here category deleted with its post okay successfully so now let's get back so here we refresh and now let's delete on this sql and here it deletes this two data also so let's click on this delete button and it loads perfect so category deleted with its post successfully let's see that sql category is not found let me just check out here now let's refresh here you'll see that sql post also is not found so guys this was a correct method to delete the category with the post okay so now by mistake if you delete this the record might get deleted also and your post also will be deleted so for that case guys let's add a confirm and delete option in our this laravel application 
so guys let's see this in next video about confirm and delete option so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share